So again, tadhunnu, there are two mafuls. Master Muhawal. How will you describe it? Yathuddu masadda mafulaini. Inshallah. No, brothers and sisters, this is the grammatical way of explaining. And we have to understand it sentence by sentence, so we must know our Arabic very well. Inshallah. And those people who do not know Arabic very well, they will also miss out. Even the Arabs, if they do not know their language very well, they will miss out, brother. They will miss out. Some of the, some of the beauties of the Quran. Adhil anna thumma zanna ala jumla al-waridati fi tamreen sabik. Now. There was an exercise before. What was that, brothers and sisters? Hamidun, Maridun. What did you do? We used Zanantu, Hamidan, Maridan. Now you take all these sentences and put Anna. Uh, you got to do it. It's very easy. Let's try one sentence. Uh, brothers and sisters, how will you do it? This is halwa puri, brother. It will give you extra, uh, you know, exercise, extra practice. And brothers and sisters, these are all beautiful things because you are no, you are not a stranger to Anna. You are not a stranger to Ismu Anna, Khabar Anna. Uh, you are very strong in Muftada Khabar, so it will be very easy for you. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? How will you say? How will you say, brother and sister? Zanantu, zanantu, anna, hamidan, maridun khalas, brother. Is it difficult? Now you see, you put anna, huh? and now where are two mafuls? Al master, al muawwal, which is anna plus ismu anna and khabar anna, becomes yasuddu masadda mafulay. Huh? Inshallah. Highlight those things and inshallah do it. Huh? Next one, brother and sister. Atazunnu annal imtihana sahlun. That's it, brother. That's it. Huh? And you can easily translate. Inshallah. Huh? Azunnu anna ta'irata mutaakhiratun. Khalas, brother. Azunnu. Annaka, mashallah, mashallah. Anta will change into Annaka. Are you with me, Sister Sumaya? Inshallah, Annaka. Huh? Sister Mamuna, Annaka. Huh? See, all that we have studied, now we can use it, Inshallah. Okay, Al Mudarrisu. Huh? Zanantu Annal Mudarrisa. Same, no change after that. Huh? Atazunina Anna Who? Anna Who? Muslim Khalas, brother. Nazunnu Anna Who? Rasibun Khalas, brother. Okay, I will leave it here, brother. Huh? Because you can do it. Huh? Inshallah, you will try to do it. Huh? If you cannot get time, then do sit down for 10 minutes and do it mentally. And take out your hello tamari and check yourself. Inshallah. Well, fine. This is done. Now comes another very beautiful rule, brother, uh, which we have to understand it fully. And I think you know it because I did explain to you a little bit. Ayahikkuli adhula. فِلِمْ تِحَانِ نَقُولُ دَخَلْتُهُ We say, I entered it. Can you see who coming as a مَفُولٌ بِهِ What will you call this? Direct object. What will you call it? Direct object. الْمَفُولُ بِهِ سَرِحٌ Are you with me? Everybody? 
direct object, sarihun. Al mafulun bihi sarihun. We have studied all these things, brothers and sisters. Bighayri fi, without fi, idha kanal madhulu makanal. If the place of entrance, entering, if the place of entering is a makan, specified place. Nah, the khaltul baita. No, baita is a proper place, you know. The khaltul masjida. I entered masjid. Okay. The khaltul suka. All are coming as a direct object. Are they coming as direct object? Fine, brothers and sisters. Wa nakulu dakhaltu fihi idha lam yakunil madhulu makanal. If the thing that you are entering is not a makan, then you cannot have a direct mafulun bihi. Then you have to use fi. Did you get it? Fine. Let's re- read more, brothers and sisters. Dakhaltu fil Islam. Now you cannot say Dakhaltul Islam because Islam is not a place huh? that you can specify like Bait or Masjid or uh, Sukh. Huh? And what is the next one, brothers and sisters? Dakhaltu fil Imtihan. Now where do we find this rule in the Quran? They are all in the Quran, brother. Look at this, brother. We read it every single day. وَرَيْتَ nasa يَدْخُلُونَ Okay, brother. يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينَ اللَّهِ You cannot say يَدْخُلُونَ دِينَ اللَّهِ Because deen is not a place. So you have to use fi. Got the idea? So you got to be very careful when you use dakhala yadkhulu and where to have a direct maful or where to have a maful with fi. Inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. Fi deen Allahi afwajan. Brother, afwajan is hal. It is hal here. Next one, brother. Kadijitama. Amrani, these two matters, uh, these two things, Amrun, Amrani, Ijtama, they got together, Fikaulihi Ta'ala. See, again, this reference comes from Quran, uh, where we have for Dakhala direct maful, and we have for Dakhala indirect maful. Look at it, brother. Fadhuli. So, fa is harfu atfin. What is udhuli? Fialu amrin. Mabniu nala. Adfinu. Where is the file? Ya. Huh? Anti. Anti. That is the nafs. Allah is addressing the soul. Huh? Allah will address the soul. On Yom al huh? the souls which are pious and righteous, Allah is going to address them and say, Enter! Okay, where enter? Fi ibadi. Fi has come, brothers and sisters. What is ibadi? Amongst my slaves, those who are muqarrabuna, those who are nearer to Allah. So Allah is inviting that nafs. That pious and righteous nafs. Fadhuli fi ibadi. Fi harfshar ibadi isam majroor wa huwa mudaf and ya mutakallim. Mudaf ilayhi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? And then, wadhuli. Again, harfu atf came. Same. Udhuli. Filu amrin. Mabniun ala hathvinun. And fa'il is ya. Okay, anti jannati. This is direct maful. Got the idea? See, brother, how beautiful it is. When you hear this verse, brother, the words will penetrate your heart, brother. You will understand the the significance of these things and the meaning behind it, brother. And you know, 
as if Allah is talking to you. You know, and maybe we'll be one of those whom Allah will say these things, inshallah. And brothers and sisters. So, Jannati, what is Jannati? Jannata. Are you with me? Jannata. Because Ya Mutakallam made into Fata into Kasra. So, Jannata, Mafurun Bihi, Wahua Mudaf, and Ya Mutakallam, Mudaf. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Number 16, brothers and sisters. A very beautiful and exciting number 16. Huh? What is this, Hafsa? Huh? Oh, 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 I missed 13 and 14. Okay. <laughs> number 13. This is very easy, brother. Hati, Jama al Asmal, Ati, Ati. Khalil. What is the Jama? Akhillah. Remember, brother, when you see two words uh, like Tabib, what is the Jama of Tabib? Atibbaw. So Khalil Akhillaw. Huh? Huh? Okay. Sahi Asihah. Or you can make it Jama Mudakar Salim Khaliluna. Are you with me? Khaliluna, brothers and sisters. Sabil Subulun. Okay. So Banu Saabinu. Like Mafatihu, Manadilu. Uh, the Wazan is Mafa'ilu. Uh, so Abanu is uh, Sa'abinu. Inshallah. Got it, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Hati Mudariya. Adda. Ya Addu. Ijtanaba. But these are all pieces of cake. Halwa Puri, brother. Now comes Iqtab Yagtab. That's it. Huh? So says Abza, it was so easy. I didn't even see it. <laughs> Jazakillah for reminding. Huh? We come to now uh, section 16. Tawab. This is very interesting, brother. Beautiful, beautiful. And you will realize that if we do not know these things, how much we are missing. These things are not existent in, in English language. But here we have the verb Taba. What is it, brother? What is the verb? Taba. Ajwaf. What kind of ajwaf? We have to see how it goes in Mudarya. Taba. Yatubu. So what is this? Ajaba falwabi. So what is Taba Tababa? Are you with me, brother? Taba Tababa. Fine. Now make Ism file from Taba Taibun. Kala Kailun. Ba'a Ba'ihun. Are you with me? Zaka Zaikun. Okay. Now that is your normal Ism file. And then in Arabic language, we have intensive forms. What do we have? Intensive forms. Uh, very intensive forms, brother. Okay? And it means that person is doing this over and over again. Over and over again. Are you with me? Are your keys handy with you? Keys handy with you? Okay, let's go to the key, brother and sisters. Keep the key handy and open, huh, brothers and sisters. Page 105, number 6. We have learned Ismu file in lesson number 4. Now we learn the pattern Fa'alun. What is it? Fa'a. This is another pattern of Ismu file, brother. Fine, brothers and sisters. Which denotes, what does it denote? Intensity. Huh? Okay, in the ism file, brother. Gafara yagfiru wa huwa ghafirun. Huh? One who forgives, okay. But gafarun who forgives much. Are you with me? Gafarun. Okay. So once you have a noun, gafarun, it is ism file but is on a very intensive 
a form. Huh, brothers and sisters, there is a word for it. Okay, brothers and sisters. Razikun, one who provides. One who provides. And what will be the intensive form? Razakun. Huh? One who provides much. But the Akilun, one who eats. And Akkalun, one who eats much. Huh? Okay. So this is one form. And there are four other forms which denote intensity. These are Fa'ilun. Okay. For example, Alimun, one who knows much. Sami'un, one who hears much. These are all used for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Alimun, he knows everything. Sami'un, he hears everything. Huh? So Ghaffarun, he always forgives. Wahab, he always gives. Razak, he always gives you Razak. Huh? Even if you don't ask, he gives you, brothers and sisters. So that is the intensive form. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Where is the next one, brother? Fa'ulun. What is it, brother? You know, what is Fa'ulun? Also, intensive form of Ism Fa'il. Okay, fine, brother and sister. Gafurun. From Gafirun. Gafurun. Now, it has got two intensive forms. Gafar as well as Gafur. Both are intensive. Huh? In their meaning. Okay. One who forgives much. Brother, Shakara Yashkuru Wahuwa Shakirun. And Shakur, who thanks much. Huh, brothers and sisters, who thanks much. And Abasa, huh? one who frowns, Abus. Huh? That is your also intensive form. But there is the other intensive form. Abisun, Abbasun. What is it, brothers and sisters? Abbas. The word Abbas. Now the name Abbas. What is it? Intensive form. Okay. And also, brother, in Arabic, another word for lion. What is the word for lion in Arabic? Asad. And what is the other word for lion? Abbas. Why Abbas? You know, lion always frowns. He seldom smiles. Are you with me? So, lion is also called Abbas. So, if you call a person Abbas, he's not grouchy, but he's like a lion. He's a brave like a lion. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, these are all the intensive forms. And, brothers and sisters, Akulun, one who eats much. And now there's another form, Fa'ilun. For example, Hazirun, very cautious. Huh? And Mif'alun, huh? Mi'ata'un. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? One who gives much. Huh? It comes from A'ata. He gives, okay? These five patterns are called Siyagul Mubalagati Smi Faili. Patterns denoting intensity in the Ismufail. Got the idea? But remember, brother, uh, out of these five, three of them are very common. Huh? Three of them are extremely common. Inshallah. You will remember this, brothers and sisters. Okay. Tawabu. Number 16. Page 202. Tawabu. Ay alladhi yatubu ala ibadihi kathiran. Huh? He forgives his slaves a lot. Wahua ala wazni fa'alun. Wahua min siyagil mubalagati smi fa'ili. It is from the intensive form of the ismu fa'il. But the siyagun, are you with me? Write down separately siyagun. That is plural. Huh? And Sigatun is singular. Huh? Can you write it, brother? Sigatun is plural. Plural is Sigatun. And what is singular? 
What is singular? Okay. Form. What is the meaning of this? A form. Sigatun means, brother? A form. Okay, brother. Min siyagiha aidan fa'ilun nah rahimun fa'ulun nah gafurun then fa'ilun nah hadirun and mif'alun nah mi'ta'un what is the meaning of mi'ta'un? one who gives a lot one who gives a ladhi yoti bi kathratin huh? Okay? Now, write down one more, brother. What is the meaning of me'awan? One who helps a lot. What is the root, brother? Ana. <laughs> it comes from Ana. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Sug. Form. Sigata fa'al. Min hadihi al-afwal. Ready, brother and sisters? Sister Sumaya, Razaka. Make the intensive form on the pattern of fa'alun. On the next page. Okay. I will ask you again. Sister Hafsa, Razaka. Razak. Huh? Sister Abir, Wahab. Wahab. You have to write it later on at home, inshallah. Now, Sister Sumaya, Alimun. Alam. What will you say? Allah, one who knows a lot, huh? mean he, he knows everything. Samia, how will you say? Samaun, Fatima, Samaun, and Akala, sister uh, Naima, Akalun. What will you say? Akalun, and sister Maria, Abasa, Abbasun. Huh? Abasa will become Abbasun. Okay, fine. So, Sigata Fail Min Hazil Afal. Sister uh, Aisha, Samia, Samiyun, eh? and Kadara, Kadirun. Sister Nasrin, Alima, Alimun. Sister Mahmoud, Basara. See, now you hear all these things, but did you ever realize that these are the intensive forms, brother and sister? It has a very beautiful meaning. Not an ordinary meaning, a very special meaning. Huh? So whether when we read the Quran and come across these verbs, it has such a powerful meaning to melt your heart. Huh, brothers and sisters, now, what are the next one, brothers and sisters? Sister Gulshan, Sug sigata fa'ulun min hadil afwal. Fa'ulun, so ghafara. Ghafurun. Ghafara will become Ghafurun. Fa'ulun. Sister Rahima, Shakara, Shakurun. Uh, Sister Madina, Sabur. See, you hear all these things. Sabur. Uh, Sister uh, Harifa, Abasa, Abus. MashaAllah. And uh, Brother Muhammad, Akala, Akulu. MashaAllah. Isn't that beautiful, brothers and sisters? So you know, we have enriched ourselves with extra knowledge now eh? to understand Quran better, inshallah. Eh? Alhamdulillah. That's the end of the lesson. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now we go to a new lesson.
Now this, brother and sister, is form 9. What is it? And we did not do it when we were trying to uh, learn mazid fihi verbs in the beginning of the uh, book 3 or other end of book 2. Why we didn't do it, brothers and sisters? Because the use of this form is not very frequent. Huh? It is only used for colors and defects. Okay, that's it. Now I have to erase this. Okay, brothers and sisters, I wrote down something. Form 9A and Form 9B. There are two forms huh? in this uh, bab. Okay. Fa'ala. These are the permanent residents. Uh, they occupy their permanent place in the verb. Uh, what is fa'ala? Fa kalima, an kalima, lam kalima. What do we call it in English? First radical, second radical, third radical. But then this is we got to, you know, say it in English because our children sometimes will understand a little better if you explain them in English. Uh, we are learning Arabic with the help of explanation in English, brother. I had a great difficulty in understanding Arabic when I was explained everything in Arabic. When you go to Middle East sometimes, they just talk Arabic. Even if they know English, they don't talk. But brother, I found it very hard because I did not know Arabic. If I go now, then I won't have any problems because I understand Arabic. But when you go as a clean slate, brother, it's hard. And then all these kawaii they explain you in Arabic, brother, they all fly over you. Till I found a teacher who was so kind. His name is Ustad Abu Muaz. He's a retired teacher. He knows French. He knows English. And he knows Arabic. He used to teach in Algeria. Till I found him, he was the imam of the masjid, he very kindly helped me. Because he would explain me in Arabic as well as his English. That made a lot of sense, you know. So I'm going to explain you and inshallah you will also explain in the same way to our children. Fa'ala, permanent residence, the root. Fa kalima, ain kalima, lam kalima. Whenever you look into a verb, you are looking for the root, for the asal. For the original letters. Now in this we add something. What do we add? How do you pronounce now? <coughs> How will you pronounce that? If Allah. How will you pronounce? If Allah. Huh? How will you pronounce, brother? If Allah. If Allah. Huh? And what will be the modaria? Yaf Allu. Yaf Allu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yaf Allu. Fine. What is number B? Huh? We have Aleph here, brother, and then we have after Ain, there is a Aleph. And of course, again we have here that Lam. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? How many additions we made? Hmm? What is the result? If all. What is it, brothers, sisters? What will be the modaria? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now we go to the page where verbs are mentioned. 
Czy jest dobrze? Masz co pięć? Two or six? Pięć, two or six, panie. So from now onwards, you know our routine. When we study a new lesson, we go to the verbs. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Al-Mahdi. Ihmarra. Hmm? Are you with me? Ihmarra. What is the meaning of Ihmarra? It became red. Yahmarru. Huh? What is the master? Ihmirarun. Huh? Okay, the lamb kalima is now split. Huh? Eh mirarun. Brothers and sisters, what is the ism file? Muhmarun. What is it? Muhmarun. What is ism maful? Are you listening? What is ism maful? There is no ism maful. Why? Because all these verbs are intransitive. So they have no mafulun bihi and no ism. Maful and no majhul, no passive voice. You can only have passive voice if the verb is transitive. Otherwise, no. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. Isfarra. Say it loudly with me, Mudari Abadat. Yes, farru. And then master, isfirarun. Loudly, everybody, brother. And then isam file, musfarrun. Very good. Ibyadda, it became white. Mudaria, yabyaddu. And then, Ibyi, dadun. And then, Ism file, mubyaddun. Fine, but. Iswadda. Yaswaddu. Isvidadun. Muswaddun. Ikhdara. Yakhdaru, Ikhdi Rarun, Mukhdarun. Fine. So, what is the meaning of Iswadda? It became black. Ikhdarra, it became green. Huh? So, it's easy, brother. Inshallah. Now comes Iwadja. What is the meaning of Iwadja? It became crooked. Something becomes twisted, crooked. Huh? Ya Wadju. I vijajun, I vijajun. Are you with me? And then, ma'wajun. Fine. That's all, brother. Now the form 9b. Huh? Is fara. Are you with me? Is fara. Is fara. Mudari abadar? Yes, faru. Now that Aleph changes into Ya. Is fi rarun. Is fi rarun. And then musfarun. Easy, inshallah, brother. Ihmara. Yahmaru. Ihmirarun. Muhmarun. Okay, what is the meaning of is fara? To become yellow. Ihmara huh? to become red. Okay. Okay. Idhama. What is brother? Idhama. It is about to become black. Huh? Okay. It is not totally black, but nearly black. Brother, when does it happen? You take a green, you make it dark, dark, dark green, then the dark green looks like black. So this is it, brother. Okay. It is very near to black, becoming black. Idhama. Yadhamu. And then, brother and sister, Idhimamu. And then, Mudhamu. I want to do the next exercise, brother and sisters. Udhkur, mention. Baba kulli fi'alin. Mimmayati. Bob of every word you should do it, brothers and sisters. Bob of every word you should do it. Okay. 
you have to even tell the pattern. Not only mention the uh, form, but you have to tell the pattern. Will you be able to do it, inshallah? Yes. Inshallah, okay. Is what the, what is the verb? If, if Allah. Huh? What is it? If Allah. Huh? No, we got to sharpen our mind and uh, understand this way also. Huh? Sister Sumaya, are you with us, sister? Huh? Is what the, is if Allah. Huh? When you will revise, you will become master, brother, inshallah. Ishtadda. Now, what is Ishtadda? This is form 8, brother. You got to see the root. Where is the root? Shadada. That is, brother, not form 9. This is form 8. What is the form? Ifta'ala. Ifta'ala. What is the form, brothers and sisters? Ifta'ala. Got it, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Ihmara. Ifala. So, my, uh, Sister Maimuna, you have something to say? Okay. Yeah. Okay, brother. Idhama. Ifala. Brothers, you tell me. Ibyadda. What is the pattern? If Allah. Huh? Fine. Now, sisters, huh? sister uh, Aisha, ishtaka, what form is this? Ishtaka. Sister Maimuna, you help your sister. Sister Nasreen, you help sister Maimuna. <laughs> huh? Okay, sister Mahanas. Is form eight. Huh? Okay. If ta'ala. What is it? If ta'ala. Huh? So we got to look for the root. When you see a verb, look for the root and it will be very clear to you what form it is, brother. So what is the root? Shakka. Huh? Uh, shak, shakika. Oh, yes. Shakka. Mudaf. Okay, brother. Ishtakka. If ta'ala. Okay. Now. Sister uh, Madina, in shakka. What form is this? In shakka. Form 7. In fa'ala. In fa'ala. What form is this, brothers and sisters? In fa'ala. Form 7. Masha'Allah. Now, what is this, brother? Sister uh, Manas, in fadda. Also form 7. Huh? No. Okay. Now, uh, brothers, a wajja. What form is this? A wajja. If Allah. Form 9. Huh? Form 9. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Uh, I think we'll take a break. Huh? And then, inshallah. We will uh, start the new lesson. Huh? Brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. Inshallah, we will start. Adasul Rabiu Wal Ishroon. Al Mudarris. Iftahin Nafizata Yali. Translation, brother. Open the window, Yali. So it's easy, brother. Iftah. Pelamar. Ali says, Innaha la tanfatiho. Translation It does not open. Huh? We can translate it, Alhamdulillah. It does not open. Huh? Fine. So, what is tanfatiho? Form 7. We got to figure out. Huh? Form 7. Are you sure it is Form 7? Yes. What is the root? Fatah. 
We look for the root, inshallah. Pakaddi vajja mithla juha. What is the sentence, brothers and sisters? Pakaddi vajja. What is the verb? E vajja. Where is the file? Mizla juha. What is the meaning of mizla ju? Huh? The latch. The bolt. Huh? The bar. So what is the meaning of it, brother? Pakaddi vajja mizla juha. The yeah it has become crooked. The latch has become crooked. Huh? That is why it will not open. Allah right? yumkinu takvimu amkana yumkinu. Where is the file of yumkinu? Takvimu. Here it is takvimu. Huh? Takvimu vijajihi i vijajihi. What is this? I vijajihi. This is master from i vajja. Huh? What is the translation, brother? Is it not possible uh, correcting the crookedness uh, or fixing the crookedness? Is it not possible? Fixing the crookedness? What is the reply? Havalna. Translation, brother? Havalna, brother. Hasan? Havalna. Havala, you havilu, to try. So, Havalna, we tried. Havalna, we tried. Walam natamakkan min zalika. Walam natamakkan min zalika. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now tell me what kind of a verb is this? From fi. What is the verb? Tamakkana. And after tamakkana, min has to come. Are you with me? Min has to come. Okay, brothers and sisters. What is the meaning, brother and sister? Are you with me? Istata to be able to can. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, walam natamakkan. Okay? Yatamakkanu, five in your pocket, brother. So, natamakkanu, put lam, make it majizun, lam natamakkan. Min zalika. We tried it, but we were not able to. Uh, we tried it, but we were not able to do that. What was that? To straighten it. Uh, to straighten it. We were not able to do that. Got the idea, brothers and sisters, inshallah? Fine. Now, al mudarris Vajahuka. Vajahuka. Muhmarun Ya Ahmad. Translation? Your face is red. Means you are flushing. There is something wrong with you. Okay? Your face is red. Wajahu, huh? brothers and sisters, is your mubtada, mudaf, mudafilihi. Muhammarun is your khabar. Huh? What is muhammarun? Ism file. Huh? All these things, master, ism file, verbs, inshallah, you will underline them, highlight them, inshallah. Ka'anna ka as if you are very ang- angry. Huh? It seems you are angry. Yeah. Naam. 
Lakad. Brothers and sisters, what is this Lakad? What is the la? Allah mo li kasamin Are you with me? There is a kasam, which is to be estimated. That there is a kasar, kasam, and the lam comes for uh, jawabu kasam. Okay? And kad is harfu tahkik. So whenever you see lakad in the Quran, brothers and sisters, you will always think of lamu as a alamu li kasmin bukhaddarin. And sometimes you will see the kasam, but sometimes you won't, and then you have to estimate everything. Okay? Lakad aghdabani. Avada? Ghadaba. He became angry. Bring it into form four. Aghdaba. He made someone else angry. Are you with me, brother and sister? Aghdabani. Jafarun, the Jafar, you know, Jafar made me angry. He caused me uh, this problem that I'm angry now. Hmm. With what? Be sukhriyatihi minni. What is that, brother and sister? Always remember, sakhira, min has to come. Sakhira. Min. What is the meaning of Bi sukhriyatihi? He's mocking. He's mocking me. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? He's mocking me. He made me angry by his mocking me. Got the idea? What does Madaris tell him? Kum. Get up. Watawadda. Do vudu. Wash your face, do wudu. Okay. Ya Jafar, alam tasma kaulahu ta'ala. Translation, brother. Didn't you hear the word of Allah? In Surah Al Hujarat. In the Surah Hujarat. What is that, brothers and sisters? Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu la yaskhar. What kind of Allah is this? La nahiya yashkar fil mudariya majzoon common min common. But here common means people. Okay, yashkar common min common. So min has come. Translation, brother. Oh, you who believe the people should not mock the other. Common twice. Okay. First common is your file. Huh? And then other common is your ism majroor. Huh?